اوكي جاي جو Hello everyone. Uh, this is your brother Bob from Berlin, Maryland. Um, it's good to see you again today, this uh, Saturday for our OTEC Pros uh, bi-weekly webinar. Um, we have with us my, our, our OTEC Pro brothers, uh, my brothers uh, Vincent, uh, Collins and Oliver. We are also joined by some other esteemed guests. We have uh, engineer Mike Francine, uh, my sister, uh, uh, comfort. We we have also uh, uh, one of our guests that we're going to be spotlighting today, uh, Pastor Jerry. I think Fumi is also going to be joining us. Um, uh, we thank you for taking the time to 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 join us uh, this Saturday. We know you had other things that you could be doing, but it's good to see you. So you know, every two weeks we've been we've been doing this for the past uh, almost four months now. Um, we, we, we come in here, we spotlight founders who have been doing some great things behind the scenes around the world. And uh, we also um, ignite, uh, inspire and educate. Uh, so today, uh, we are, our topic for today is winners. Our topic for today is winners, but we're going to do our spotlight first and then we'll get to our topic uh, afterwards. Uh, today we have um, a very, very, very esteemed gentleman. Uh, I call him a firebrand. Uh, from from the great country of of Ghana, uh, we all heard we we saw and heard of from him maybe a couple of weeks ago. Even our founder likened him to uh, the great late uh, Nelson Mandela. When he speaks, um, you can hear the passion and the compassion in his voice. He speaks with exuberance. You can you can tell that for for love, compassion, hope uh, to humanity is exactly the kind of people. That our founder is is seeking for, and the kind of people that have been working behind the scenes, and now we decided to bring him forward to spotlight him to all the founders around the world. So let's welcome Pastor Jerry Otoyo from Ghana. Pastor Jerry, uh, Bob, thank you for this opportunity, and um, I want to thank all the panelists, especially um, our CEO uh, Hash Mafare. Our great man, Matthew the Gamma Christ, and others that have um, hold on to this vision. I believe this is the greatest vision ever to hit our planet. Thank you so much. Thank you um, to uh, Colin, Mana, and then the rest. I am so grateful once again to be here. I can say that. Um, the spotlight actually came by accident, but um, that is to man, because that very day I just saw the link on the platform and click. And then when Collins was speaking, I felt the hush to come and then also um, add my voice. And then um, the network just went off after that. And so uh, when I heard the following day that um, I, I heard from a CEO, mentioning my name over and over, I felt like crying because if your name is in the mouth of that man, then it means that God has called your name second time. And so that, that is what um, actually happened. But um, I would like to say that um, God always raised people and he gives you experience. Sometimes from your youthful um, lifestyle is to raise you and to teach you certain things about life so that as you grow up, um, you will be prepared. You will be prepared to actually return back to where you come from. Anyone that doesn't remember where it comes from has no future because our future are tied to our past, definitely. And so I believe Hash Mofara is doing this, what we call unpassive today because of the things he has gone through in his personal life that has created this passion in him. And um, that is certain because when you look back into where you came from, you realize that there is a lot out there, especially when God has brought you to see certain things, certain privileges others are enjoying, which are not found at where you came from. You would um, want to actually be a kind of a voice for the voiceless. And um, I believe that that is the passion that drove me 
onto um on passive because um i as as we all know i have a calling into the ministry when i was very young and ever since i joined the ministry i never had the focus on money. Money has never been my focus. And that is why wherever I go out to serve and they put money before me, I said, no, just let me serve. And so I have been serving all my life without um, actually earning a salary. Then the only thing I do is whatever I find my hands to do, I grab it and I try to do that to, in order to take care of myself, my family. And um, I have a wife and four children, three girls and a boy. Of course, there are no more children. They are all <laughs> grown up now because my last baby is uh, 21 years old. And so um, that is how far I've taken me uh, onto. And then um, looking back, as I get involved in all the network marketing that I could also um, try to uh, get involved with in order to raise money for my family, for myself. I came along so many people. And one of the young men who was who has been in my team in other business is called Caleb Asante Matthew. He just forwarded a link to me and I click on that link and that was it. It was Go Founders. That was in January uh, 2019. Go founders, and I that was it. And I joined, and then um, immediately when $97 was being paid, I quickly um, take care of that. And then um, I didn't have enough money on me. And so I said, okay, with the vision, after listening to Ash Mufara speak, I, I said, no, with this vision, let me do something for my family. So I called one of my daughter to click on the link and she, she does so. And so I got one account and I said, this account is for the family. I could have done it for all, all of you, but let this be for the family and let me have one because the purpose of that one is to make sure that I take care of humanity. So if this one is for the family, I can use one because Hajj Mufara kept saying that one account is enough. It's enough to take care of your life, to change your life around and for you to also impact your community. And so that, that, is, that is it. Because if one account is enough, you see, I call on passive one account is enough from that time. And then <clears throat> um, another thing is that this one account is connected to so many businesses. So many businesses that if you get into it, you, you have established yourself. And so with just one account, I was sure that um, I wouldn't have problem reaching out to um, humanity. And so I can also see on passive as where God himself rules in the affairs of men. That is how I see on passive because it is, it is um, a, a movement that is coming to transform things to make sure that the poor that have been rejected would come to light, would come to a place of liberation. And so um, there is a lot that um, God has prepared for us. And because of time, I would um, want to leave it here. There are other things that we will share as time goes on. God bless you, Paul. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you, Pastor Jerry, the firebrand founding member i just found out you've been here since january of 2019 that's a few months just after on passive was birth so thank you for your for your commitment your loyalty and your love that is exactly the kind of people that mr ash Mufara wants to see yes one account is enough that's what mr ash Mufara was very very consistent in saying one account is enough just 97. um let us also bring in another firebrand uh, someone that I'm very, very privileged to know. I was very, very privileged to meet her in person in Manchester last year when we went uh, to Manchester uh, for our big reunion. Um, very, very, very vibrant lady, very loving lady, one of our heroes, stars, um, has wonderful family. I, I've been, I have the privilege to also speak to her, to her son, uh, I mean, uh, she has a beautiful family. Daughter is doing well. Everybody's doing well. Last year, 
in spite of all her trials and tribulations, she lost her mother, but she's still been here with us, always consistent. This is one of the people that Mr. Asbufora is thanking each time that he says thank you to all the founders. Let's listen to our sister, Sister Fumi Williams. Sister Fumi, please, over to you. Thank you very much. I hope everyone can hear me. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm telling you, the pastor just took what was in my heart. It was as if he saw everything written in my heart and he just brought it out, you know, when he was talking. And for me, that is just spot on. And the only thing I wanted to add to that is that, let me tell you something. When Have you noticed that when there's someone, when God raises one person to try to help the poor, to try to help humanity, the enemy raises up his head. And we are going to have to fight and we will keep fighting. And that is why many a times I tell Sister Comfort that, look, uh, our CEO, Brother Ash, comes out and tells us a little, it's just like a, you know, like a little bit of what is happening. But I know, I know that he's facing more than that. And it's a battle which we also have to fight for in prayer. Because I believe I've been here since 2001, 2021, sorry, January 6, 2021. I remember Antoinette calling me Yabin Antoinette Mbe saying that you saw something nice and you did not introduce me. And she said she can't explain it. Okay, go and bring someone to explain it. She, I think she called Brad Collins. I didn't know who Brad Collins was there. And for me, it was like, okay, someone needs to explain this. By the way, before then, I'd seen on Passive Online, looked at that link, looked at the amount they were asking for. I was penniless at that point in time. <laughs> I didn't have any money. But, you know, when God knows that you have to be part of something, he will bring you to that place. So I said to myself, I said, ah, thank God for somebody that is using their brains for something wonderful during this lockdown. Oh, God bless him. You know, that kind of thing. And I went by not to find out that was like November, then January. Antoinette said, OK, I'll bring Brad Collins to explain to you. Brad Collins didn't need to say much. He said, it's an IT company. I said, what? I said, I saw it. I mean, last year I saw it, but I didn't. So, but the issue is I don't have the money. And he said, you know what? I can do something for you. Then you repay me. I'm not ashamed of that. But he did that and I had to pay him back. What am I saying? This is something that is going to bless, hum bless humanity. It's going to bless humanity in a way that even... And you know, when he says God is involved in this, he's going to bless humanity in a way that is going to make God himself happy. So I'm telling you, whatever it is that you get into now, thinking that, oh, because I've, I've heard, I have my ears to the ground. Some people say, oh, you see now, this thing, they're not talking about it anymore. Da, 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 da. Nobody's talking about you, 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 for me, you're not saying anything. Da, da, da. I've said, if you have patience, you know, they said the, the, the dog that waits patiently eats the juiciest bone. I say, if you rush into anything now, I'm telling you, whatever you rush into is going to collapse and you will still come back to unpass it. I say, so make sure you are not rushing into anything except you are the kind of person that likes to get something and then quickly. I said, apart from that, I am here to stay and I encourage every one of us in whatsoever capacity you know how to pray. Pray and then stay faithful because what is coming, I'm telling you, <laughs> you can ask God to open your eyes. What is coming? Some people are, you know, when people will be lining out at, outside, queuing at your door, that we heard, Mama Maxien, that you belong to the unpassive. Can you tell us? Now we're sorry, I will refuse it that time, but can you help me? That's exactly what is going to be happening. So I am very, very excited, still much excited about what is happening, what is about to come, and what, you know, God is going to do through each and every one of us. Because like Brahash said, you cannot change the world of everybody. But you can change the world of one person. 
if that one person too changes the world of another person, if you can, if you have the capacity after you've filled your time, change the world and you can change the world or maybe two or three people do so. Don't do beyond what you can afford to do. But those three people to take up themselves, change the world of one or two people per person, I'm telling you, God will be really, really, really pleased with us. Not just because uh, we are Christians, but first we are humans, you know, human beings that God created in his image, first and foremost. And then if you are not a believer and a Christian, then topple that up. It makes a good plan. And then as, an, as a movement as well, we are going to hit the road hard. Thank you very much. Amen, amen, please, sister. Bravo, can I come for one minute? Just one minute. Okay, sure. Um, um, my sister have just said something and I just wanted to come in. We are actually, um, what I see in non-passive is beyond religion. Is beyond religion. I, I, I see God bringing the entire world together, the Hindus, the Buddhists, and whatever religion you are, God is the father of all. And with one passive, he's bringing us together. So thank you, my sister. <laughs> Sorry, Amen. I must yes. I, I, I dismantle your name, but God bless you. No, just say Fumi. sister, for me. For me. For me. Oh, we, we, for me. We, we just call her sister, for me. Yes. For me. Thank you very much, Pastor Jerry, for coming in again. Thank you, my sister, for me. Yes, since 2021, January 2021. Thank you for your consistency. Yes, you said the patient dog eats the fattest bone. We are we are those patient dogs, 1.4 million of us. We are waiting for our bone. It, it is it is coming. You know, I love your laugh. I love the laugh. Um, so now we're going to we're going to now we've heard from our two um uh Founding members that wanted to spotlight, we've given them Sister Fumi and Pastor Jerry. Thank you guys so much. We're going to now move to the topic of today, which is winners. We said we are winners. Our founder, Mr. Ash, he said that twice in the past two weeks. The week before last, he said we are winners. This Wednesday at Opus 360, he said again that we are winners. So we, we thought that it was wise for us to put our topic as winners, you know. And just real quickly before I pass it around, the reason why I think we are winners is because Mr. Ash told us last week, he told us why, why we are winners. I'll just briefly talk about the one. He said we can see the other side. We know that we can see the other side. We are maybe 5% more work to do to get to the other side, right? And when we see the other side, what, what is there? There's nothing there. We, we can see that they don't have what we have. So we are very, very lucky. We say we are going to create our own economy. That is a topic that we will discuss for another time. Number two, he said, who we have, now we have the expert, we have the, the talent and the people who are going to deliver what we have more than five years ago and they are aligning with our vision. Number three, he said, we, our vision is, is, is known. Our vision is known, but the people who are out here now, all the big techs and all these other giants, they know about our vision, yet they cannot, they have never tried to do it. You know why? Because they can't do it. If they try to do it, they will have to dismantle their entire systems. All passive is built with what? Love, compassion, and hope. There's none of, none of them that, ha that, uh, that have that kind of attitude towards their founders. Remember, with all passive, what do you do? You pay less, you get more. You work less and you earn more so that you can help humanity. There's no other company that has that kind of, that kind of spirit within them. And then he said, we have learned more. We have learned more. So uh, now we know more. Now we, we, we know our mistakes. Now we can correct our mistakes and, and be more effective. Then yesterday, uh, two days ago in Unpassive uh, 360, again, he came and he also gave us two reasons why we are in this predicament. You understand? So the week before, he told us why we why we, we are winners. And then just uh, last uh, two days ago, he, 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 to see that he's trying to explain and he's get, taking one step at a time to make, paint the picture for us to see. You know, we thought that if we were bigger and have many employees and stuff like that, that would be, that would that would cut it. No, now he realized that he had the wrong people who did not have the the right attitude to work with us, and the and, and the vision was not aligned. You understand? And then the time that they took and the quality was not there. So now we are we have less. There's a saying that less is more. So we have less people who are, that are delivering. And he said that we are winners twice. So now with that, I'm going to pass it along to my sister, uh, Comfort, Sister Comfort. Um, I know you are out there every week explaining everything that you heard. You had a very broad perspective of things. Please come on down and tell us how you see it, what you have in stock, 
Are we winners, Sister Comfort? Or excite us, in, ignite us, educate us, please. Take it over. Sister Comfort. Sister Comfort is not with us. Hold on, let me see. I have it on. Thank you. She's here, yeah. Uncle Bob, but we can't hear her. Mm. We oh. can't hear you, Mama Comfort. Please, volume. A little bit, volume. a little bit. Volume. Your volume. Increase it. Oh, guys, I'm really sorry for, for doing this. I don't, I'm not sure what... Okay, we, we can hear you, but it's like you are away from the microphone, so... Yeah. How is that? How is that now? All right, if I pick this up, then you should expect noise from the top down. I'm very with you guys. So... That's okay. Push it close to your mouth. Push it, push it close. Hmm? Push it well, close to your mouth. No. I'm just scared. All right. I, I don't need okay. to keep people yeah. eating this yes. much. I, I really apologize. I hope you could have taken somebody else for me to sort this out. But it's all right. Oh, guys. no, I didn't know. Sorry. And then on gallery view, on, on speaker view, I really don't see everybody. I have to get out of it. So let me go back. But to can you. you see me, though? Yeah, I yeah, can go. see you. Yes. I put you now on speaker. Now you are you have on focus. Yes. All right. Oh uh, yeah, I am focused because we are focused and fine. We're fine and focused. That's gifted. Yes. So thank yes. you guys. Thank you so much. I'm just blessed once again. The best, the best place. Where else can you be happy if not here within this family or these family members? It's just a sweet evening again to be here. And guys, thank you. However, bring me after Fumi and my brother at your risk because they they have taken out all the excitement. You know, I am. Um, what did you you were talking about us being winners? However, I mean, like all over the place kind of person. If I say something, fine. If not, let's just carry on with the meeting. So thank you, guys. Yes, who doesn't know that he's a winner or she's a winner has an issue because we are winners. It's just yeah, we have already won because like I don't know why each time she's talking, she never my sister Fumi. I always expect her to do it by herself. If I were moderating, I would have got, gotten her to say this. We normally have a fight. If people know us, they know that we fight a lot, whether we're alive or wherever. Each time I say on passive started in, in 2018, she interrupts me to say no. 2018 was just the day they brought this to, to the limelight. But then it had been an incubation for as long as it took Ash to finally make it out on 20, in 2018. So the winning took place the very day Mr. Mufara made those two videos and started circulating. And whoever saw it, whoever is sitting now is because they are seeing that thing that is high, is waiting for you and myself at the end of the tunnel, you know? So what I know that I'm, I've, I've won, I'm not seeing anything, I'm not making money, I don't know about you, but then it's a done deal, like we would say before. And whether you like it or not, whether, except you are not seeing, there is a bride, B-R-I-D-E, waiting for you and myself at the end of the tunnel. Because unpassive is beyond Mr. Ash Mufare. Unpassive is beyond the most savvy, the, the most experienced technician involved in this software development. Unpassive is something secret. So it was made, it was written that this thing is going to happen. So wherever we are now, we are just walking, taking it one step at a time and walking towards the bride. The day they will unveil that bride, you are going to be like, oh my God, it was worth the waiting. And of course, I am just here to celebrate the win because I have made it to the finished line. So guys, we are winners. So when I was listening to my brother, I got goosebumps, my brother from, from Ghana. We know how much our people from, from other countries struggle with, like, with a network and stuff like that. How much he's presenting uh, on passive makes me ch chill, you know, because he is just picking those key things. That's what I would say, you know. He, I was just, he, I'm like, what is he saying? He did not bother much to get so many uh, accounts. This is for my family and this one is for, for, the, for, for humanity. Why? Because... It is just, it's their businesses within a business. That's what, that's his understanding. And it's so clear and it makes sense. I was just like, this is Mr. Mufari kind of mindset. It doesn't take you owning the, the ecosystem. It doesn't take you hold, hold, owning millions of accounts to do what you want to do. Because remember that before I started doing, doing this, he had been helping people 
from whatever he had, how much, how, how less, how whatever. I've heard people come here and say things, how much they go out there and help people with little or nothing, you know? So he got it so right. So when he said this, it came to my mind like, yes, I think I don't need so many accounts. However, if we have more than one, well, to whom much is given, much is demanded of our God in heaven. It's not a preaching ceremony today. It's just how on passive is ministering to us. So what is happening here is, so it, when he said this, a lot of few things came to my mind that I've never thought before. I'm like, when you have less accounts, just one like he has for this mission and one for the family, you have enough time to concentrate, to take care of this one account, account and the rest of the attention goes to the field because we are going to penetrate the nooks and crannies, the hinterlands of the world to make people smile. I'm talking about personal experience and know where we will go to. If I have 50, 60, 80, 100 accounts, I might need a bit more time to take care of these accounts. Fields are wide, harvests are waiting, harvesters are here preparing to go to the field and it's never getting finished. However, it works well from any angle. Whoever has more than one, God will do it for us. What I know, one thing again that came to mind when my brother said this, I thought that the ripple effect will do this. The winning is here. The ripple effect will do this because it is contagious. Unpassive is a flu that is a bit more contagious than, than, than COVID-19. The moment you sneeze, everybody catches it. If you don't catch it, then there is definitely your immune system is different. So the moment you do it to one person from just that one account, it's like, what is this? So yeah, it's all yours. Take it. You say, oh, is it mine? Yes. Then I'm going to tell the next person. I will not only tell God, I've got this much. I am giving again. And that's what, that's all Ash was out to do. That's when, when you try to pick into his mind, you would think that that was what he was here to do. The ripple effect. If you show that love, and it's genuine, that person will definitely receive with love. And what will happen, they will share, they will pay forward with love. And so we all win. Everybody wins. However, I have nothing against people who have more because I don't have one. I have at least a few, you know. But then it's all with uh, good intentions. And by the grace of God, we are going to just do that thing. We are going to change lives. We are going to make people smile. Some people, to the best of my knowledge, would experience love for the first time in their lives. They are going to, this is some feeling I've never, never felt like this before. And that's what I'm talking about, ripple effect. If I feel like this, I would like my neighbor to feel like that too. So I make them feel the way I feel now. I've never known that people could do this to people to feel the way I feel. Guys, stop me because I can go on and on and on and on, Bob. Take it back. Thank you so much. I'm just so blessed. To be amen, here. amen, my sister. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, the ripple effect, that ripple effect is actually far beyond our widest imaginations. And Mr. Ash has successfully prepared us. If you remember, he has, that's the only one thing that, if you were to ask Ash Mufara, what, what do you want of us? Because what he has given us, we can never pay him back, right? But if you were to ask him, what is it that he wants from us is to do what exactly you are talking and what Pastor Jerry was just explaining to us, how to uplift one life at a time. Oh, sister, for me, just impact one person at a time and that ripple effect will see the whole world smile indeed. Let us go to my brother, uh, Collins, Collins Manor, the man who I call the manor from heaven to, to all passive. Collins, please come on down and give us your take on what you you heard in the past two weeks anything if why are we winners or any anything to inspire or ignite us the floor is yours my brother oh <laughs> I, I didn't know you would call me so soon but well how, how can i follow the comfort and you know our brother jerry those that for me they've just lighting the whole place and it is it is really difficult to look at when we look at the past week and what do i see what mr ash mufara has been saying to us that things are working, they are working for us, the founder. He said he is not going anywhere. That's what he told us. That's one of the things, that's my biggest take. Whatever we think, whatever you have in your mind now as a founder and as an affiliate, if the CEO of this company can assure you that I, Mr. Ash Mofara, am not going anywhere, if he is not going anywhere, I am also not going anywhere. I am sticking with this company. I want to see like what Red will always tell us. 
I want to see it to the end. That's the only thing. I want to see it to the end. Every on Passive 360, he is there to assure us, to show us his face. How many CEO have you ever seen them? Especially in a turbulence time. They will vanish. Some of us, though, those who have done multi-level marketing, that for me, they are here. Me, I've never done it in my life. But I'm calling people who have done it before. My, you don't see your CEO, the person who owns the business. You have to pay certain amount. That's the story they have been telling me from what I'm gathering from those who have done it. You must be in a certain level to see the person in the next level. You go to the next level to see the next person. And those who are at the top level, these are the people who will see the CEO. Do you know why they are doing that? Because it's a cartel. They know when they break the chain, the others disappeared. They pay off the other people and you know them, they disappeared and you never know the CEO. They go, they rebrand themselves and they come back again. That's how they do. But Mr. Ash Mofara, as the head of Unpassive, he is still there. There are people who visit him. They know his house. They know his postcode. They know his wife. They've seen his children. And he said, I, Mr. Ash Mofara, I am not going anywhere. This is what we need to gather. This, it, uh, that's my take. I don't really care about what he said, whatever, because he is still alive. I am still here. My hope is still assured because he made a statement, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. I am here to go through that turbulence. I'm here to go through that hardship because I know, you know, at any point in time, we will see the light. This victory and no sweat, no gain. We need to sweat. Those who refuse to sweat, I'm afraid you need to find it. You need to find the shiny object. Because in life, if we want to look at the history of other business, we don't want to feel the pain. We want to go to heaven, but we are not willing to die. If you ask everybody how how many of us want to go to heaven to see God, all of us will put our hand up. How many of us are ready to go through the pain that Jesus Christ went? We said, no, no, no. How can I be beaten this way? I want to just disappear and go to heaven. It would never happen that way. The day of manna is over. You need to work hard to get it. And if we don't go through this with Mr. Ash Mopara, you know, because he's a, 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 he's a CEO who will come out and tell you we failed. How many of you have come out and tell us you failed? We failed. He said, we made mistakes. He said, we have made mistakes and we will continue to make mistakes. The truth is, because we are human, we are limited in our understanding. Only God has the full understanding of everything. We are limited in our understanding. And if you refuse to accept this, please go and create your own planet. Create your own world. Be the Alpha and the Omega of what you want to take. Because we are weak, God is strong in our weakness. Mr. Ash Mofara accepted his weakness. He said, I know I am weak, only God is strong. He appreciates his own weakness. Please stick with this man. We will not emphasize this enough. This is the only person who will stand before you and tell you, I have failed. We have failed, but we will make it because we are not giving up. He never said, I. He said, we, the only time he would say, I, he said, I am Ash Mofara. But when you want to describe everything, he said, we, it means the unpassivian, the affiliate. We are together. Let's stick together because when we stick together, the success will come. Those who decide to go away because, you know, we are like winds. When the wind blows, then everything, the wind is like the world is crumbling. But Ms. Ash Mofara, through the tribulation, and hardship, he always come and talk about the success and where we are going. He not even look at the weakness and the failure. He always give the way forward. He said, yes, we have done this, but this is the way forward. He never give up. But because he is still standing tall, I am still standing tall. If you are not standing tall, it is you. But I am still standing for tall. Because the only time you succeed is when you believe in something so dear. When you, are, you give up your belief, even if in the hospital you are sick, you give up your faith, no medication will cure you. But when you said, I will, I am healed, 
Even if they put water in the drip without any medication, you'll be healed. I am not giving up in Ompasi. Those who want to give up, it is your case. I'm still in. My brother, I'll give it back to you. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you, thank you, colleagues. Thank you. You know, for a CEO to stand up in front of his founding members, affiliates, and acknowledge that we have made some mistake, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. But when you do that, it, it gives you, it tells you the, the caliber of the man who is the captain of this ship. And when you make mistakes and you acknowledge them, guess what? You course correct, you fix it, and you move on. You move on more powerfully. That is what our founder, Ashwin Farah, has done. And we should be all be proud and know that we are all winners. I'm going to call on my sister, Francine. Francine, please come on down and talk to us. I know you have a very peculiar way of putting all everything together. Please just take a couple. We're going, we're going to try to leave it now to two, two minutes because we are running out of time. Please take a couple of minutes and just tell us your expression, what you feel, anything that you can ignite or inspire us as we are all winners. Thank you, Sister Francine. Thank you, Bob. And you are surprising me. <laughs> I was still in the words I heard before. So um, for me, a winner is um, someone who fix his objectives and make sure he will reach those objectives. And within on passive, I see that our CEO knew where exactly he was going. And it gives you confidence. It gives you peace. He's a winner because before even he started, he knew exactly where he wanted to go and where he was leading each one of us. And he said, come share my dream with me. So I am confident he knows where he's taking us. For me also, a winner, he has trust in himself first. And that trust, he transmits it to the people around him, the people surrounding him. And regardless of all the obstacles, a winner will translate these obstacles as challenges. There is a difference between an obstacle and a challenge. And now that the challenges comes, the winner will add more energy and know because he has prepared it before. He was prepared to face those challenges in order to achieve his goal. And our CEO came to us saying there are some challenges, but we'll overcome them. As Mana was just telling us a few minutes before, which is really encouraging also. Then winner celebrates others. And I would love us all here to remember the way our CEO comes to celebrate people. I wish to recall a meeting we had not long ago, maybe two weeks ago, where the CEO attended a meeting and calling each person by his name and to express his gratefulness. So that's a quality in a winner. And when you follow such a person, it means you share the same vision, you share the same approach, and you are ready to celebrate, to be grateful, to just express your happiness to be where you are, at the stage we are. We have to celebrate. Most of us have gone through a lot during these four years and we are still going through some challenges on a daily basis. But here we are able to raise a lot of positive aspects of the way we are having together. So for me also, I have that image. I don't know which year the, those Olympics took place. I will close by reminding that very beautiful uh, end of race where you had a Kenyan runner, and I think the, the other guy was a UK guy. When they came, the Kenyan boy was kind of lost. 
at the end. And the UK guy just let him win the game. That's what we are doing in Unpassive. When I listen to the people who spoke before me, when you see the other lost, you just have to help him get the arrival point. So I will stop here because that picture is the best picture I could give us today. Thank in you. fact, thank you. thank you so much for leaving it there. We are all winners. You, you, you make sure everybody around you gets to the finish line. Thank you, my sister. And you also said, uh, which is for is is prepared. Yes, he. I, we all say he is focused. He's steady. He has a steady hand. If it's somebody else, he would have given up. He's focused. His eyes on the ball. He is steady and he's prepared. That's why every challenge that comes our way. Ash Mufara knows that he's going to solve it. He told us yesterday, he just said, I just need time. Just give him the time. Oh, that's the only thing that our founder does not have control over, his time, and we should give that to him. So I'm going to call on Brother Madi. Brother Madi, please come on down and talk to your people. Um, we, we would love to hear some words of wisdom. I don't know how you see it, but we think, you, I know you know we are all winners. Mr. Ash told us two weeks ago and this week, this Wednesday, he told us again. So I don't know if you want to emphasize on that for us. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yes, five on five. Okay. Um, am I coming on the camera? Yes, you are on focus, yes. Okay, beautiful. Um, yeah, winners. Uh, for one thing, I want to say, uh, I am not going to try to compete with a bunch of spiritual Africans, okay? I'm not that stupid, okay? So let me just go at my level, okay? A level down. Um, we're winners because we're in the race. Um, Mr. Mufar is ahead of all of us. He's clear in the land, and the land wasn't very, very nice. There's weeds, there's trees in the way, there's poison ivy, there's snakes, there's all kinds of things. And he's clearing the way so that we can walk on dry land and, 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 in, the, and in the sunshine. So the very least we can do is follow him when he's doing all the work and he's suffering all the stuff. We can, the very minimum, we should be the wind beneath his wings. And he does appreciate it. As, um, Francine just said he named everybody in that webinar the other day. And he says it to me almost any every time I talk to him, it's about everyone else but himself. He didn't need to do this. He was a wealthy man. Uh, yes, bad things happen to good people, no doubt. The whole history of mankind, bad things happen to good people. Uh, but as long as we're behind him, and look, I'm not trying to convince anybody. If you believe, like everybody on this panel and thousands of other people, it's not a hard thing to do to walk behind him. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I wouldn't have met any of you. Um, I believe on passive is fertile ground for everyone to be who they are at 100%. On passive didn't make you. It just made a, a, a clear field where you can blossom into who you are. We have great speakers. We have people that have a lot on their mind. We have people that need to be heard. And in the regular world, you would never be heard. Never. But now, and remember, this is only chapter one. Chapter two, the world's going to hear from you. I mean that. I've said to people years ago, Everyone's going to know your name, just like I said to me. And I thought then, okay, I know he's crazy, but maybe he's crazier than I thought. But he's right. Everyone is going to know your name in a good way. Uh, we have people on here that there's a lot of people out there broken. Spiritually, mentally, they have no self-esteem. They've always been shoved to the side. They're the shadows of many other people. And that's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair that you have a country like Africa with all these educated, very sharp young people 
that are stuck somewhere because they're they're pushed to the side. I'm passing going to open up a path to all of you and to me too, where we can turn on the light for them and they get to see light at the end of the tunnel. And that's all because of Mr. Mufaro's dream and his passion. You wow. couldn't, I'm in this do or die, no doubt about it. I have, I have no desire to do anything else. There's nothing wow. else there. Um, he wow. thinks very highly of everyone here. I know that for a fact. Um, the OTEC pros come up with ideas. He listens, trust me. And if he doesn't, I say it to him 10 or 15 times, by the way. But anyway, he does listen. He cares about everyone. Um, this fight isn't over. It's not over. But what he focused on last week is where we're going, not where we've been. Bad things happen. He'll take care of it. And I'm going to tell you something. He has the best lawyer. He has the best bodyguard. He has the best overall power that he could possibly need. We all know him as God. And if he's got the shield of God, he has no problem. He can be knocked down, but he always gets up and we should get up with him. It's not a lot to ask. I want to walk with him. I want to walk with all of you. And together we're unstoppable. He said, we are an ideology. Ideology, you can't touch it. You can't squeeze it. You can't choke it. You can't kill it. That's what people are going to have to deal with. And now they're starting to know we're not going away. We're not going anywhere. So I'm very happy to be here. I have no intentions on going to the left, going to the right. I'm going to follow Ash. I'm going to follow him so much he's going to get tired of me, okay? And I believe all of us will do the same thing. So thank you very much. Thank you, Brother Madi. Thank you for joining us and for providing us the 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 uh, the Zoom link as usual. Um, yes, you said you're going to do. He said he's going to do it or die. And anybody who says that I'm going to do it or die, and if you follow that person, you are a winner. We are all winners. So let's call on uh, our sister Masien Masien Hemabu. I uh, see that you are with us. Please come and tell us. Um, maybe a couple of minutes. Just give us your own reaction to us being winners or anything that you want to inspire or ignite us. Over to you, my sister, Masien. Uncle Bob, this is not fair. How can you call me after Uncle Madi? Wow. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. And uh, I'm glad I'm here as usual. And uh, we, I listened from the previous people that they spoke and they talk about winner. And I believe that being here already is because we have won. Because if you are not a winner, you will not be here today. And who is a winner, according to me? A winner is that person who starts on his destination and makes sure that he gets where he's going. No matter how long he takes, you have to get there. It's not who arrives first. It's who gets where they're going. And when you go where you are going, you are not going alone. Because to be winning, to be a winning person, you have to have people with you. You have to hold hand together and work with those people. Don't let anyone behind. Work with those people. Go until where you are going. Now we are holding hand together and we are working with our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufara, to his destination. We don't know where he's leading us to, but we believe that the destination where he's leading us to is a great place. That's why we follow him. We follow him because we trust him. We follow him because we believe. We believe on everything that he said. We follow him because we have that hope, the hope of having something good at the end of the tunnel where he's leading us. That's why we are all winning. That's why we are here. That's the reason every single day we get up and we think about saying something good. We think positively about bringing people around and tell them about this company. I'm not going to call it company. I call this movement. I call it a family that is creating around the globe because calling it company, I worked with a company for 12 years. I don't know who was the CEO of that company until I left. And I'm working in another company now. I don't know who owned that company. 
All I know is that every two weeks, three weeks, they put my paycheck. So that's what they call company or business. This is a family that we are creating because I can testify now. So people that I am in here with them, I have not known you before, but now I can say that you are my sister, you are my brother. That's a winning mentality that we all had. That's why we are in here. And together, I believe mm -hmm. that we are going to win by working together hand in the hand to the destination or to the arrival where our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufara, is taking us. The good is yet to come and we are with him. We are standing with him until the end of that tunnel where he will tell us, this is where I want you us to, to stand. And we will stand there and we'll be with him until the end of this world. Thank you so much. Thank you, my sister Marcia. Yes, it's not how long it takes, but just the, make sure that we get there. It's not how long it takes but for you to get to your destination. Thank you. We are all winners. Last week, my brother Vincent, as you know, Vincent, Sometimes he comes, he pulls something from the heart and just, he makes me, for the whole week, I've been thinking about something that Vincent said. That is actually why we call ourselves winners. He's, he told us last week that yesterday we'll be with us, today we are with us, and tomorrow we're going to be with Mr. Ash. In other words, because we are winners. My brother Vincent, please come on down and tell us, give us your own input on how you see things. Are we winners? Yeah. Or yeah, anything else that you want to join thank us. You, thank you, my brother Bob, and thank you, everyone, everyone here in this panel. Yeah, we great, great speakers. Thank you very much again. So we are winners, like uh, my brother Bob said, we are winner. And we be with Mr. Ash, we are winner. Of course, we are winner. Because he said, I mean, the word from Mr. Ash said, on passive is here to stay. So if we are him, that means we are winner. And then, of course, on passive is here to stay. The following week, he came again. He said, on passing, is close to 90%. He has done the job 90%. So when someone say 90%, that means we are not far from the finish line. I think one of our sisters said it a few minutes ago. So we are there. So we are winner again. And then I think my Martin also added this word again. On passing is ideology. So being part of this ideology, that means you are winner. So we are winner again. And then recently again, he came and said, we should not listen to anyone. We should listen to him. He's the captain of the boat. And then I'm saying it again, Mr. Ash is the captain of the boat. For those of us who have used the boat once in their life, a captain is the only person in the boat who have the decision. So we, there's no two captains in one boat. In French, we say, there's only one captain in the boat. It's good saying in French. So Ash, Mr. Ash Mufara is our captain in this journey. If this journey is the boat, so we are in the boat. And that boat is the captain. So that's the only person we should listen to and then we should refer to. So we should not refer to people with uh, uh, maybe little faith because we want people with good faith. Like Jesus Christ said, we want people with good faith, not people with little faith. So this is what we want today. And then he said we should prepare for the next phase. So when someone says we should prepare for the next phase, what are we waiting for? We are waiting for the him to be a winner. So we will be a winner. We like or not, we will be a winner. And then one of my brothers, uh, NS, long time I haven't seen this brother. He said we like or not, people who use on passive to preach in the church, the wheels on passive to do whatever they want to do. Because on passive, we have so many things that people use it. They like or not, they're going to use it. Even if you hate on passive so much, by at the end of the day, you will use it on passive stuff. You use it on passive products. So it's going to happen. That what my brother and I said is going to happen because it will happen very soon. We will not wait for long, it will happen. Those of us who say, oh, no, we don't like on passive, they will use the product. They like or not, you will use. It will come that you have no option. That's the only option you have is to use. So this is what's going to happen very soon for on passive. So what we said, again, is not a mistake to be part of on passive. Uh, Bill Gates is the owner of Microsoft. He said, if you you born poor, is a mistake from your parents. But if you, you die poor, it's your own mistake. So I know most of the unpassivians will choose to not have a mistake because we choose to be part of unpassive. So it will not be a mistake because being part of this 
part company, you will win. And then your life will change. And then you will not die poor. So this world, Mr. Bill Gates said, so we have choose the right way to be. And then we have choose the right company to be. We choose the right world. So I believe that most of us, even if we, we, we born poor, it's not our, our mistake. But if you die poor, it's your mistake. This is what Bill Gates said. So I'll hand there, my brother Bob, to ask me for that. We are in the right position and then we are winner. There you go. Thank you, my brother Vincent. We are winners. We are winners. We are winners. Someone cannot keep insisting on that particular statement and we take it for lightly. Someone who is the captain of the ship, he knows where we are going. He knows our destination. He's telling us that we are we are 90 to 95 percent to our destination and you don't call yourself a winner. So we are indeed, my brother. Thank you. Uh, Engineer Mike, I see you clapping and looking at me. Engineer Mike, come on down. Hey, are you Bob, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. This is the biggest of kind of the old tech pros we've had for, for, for some time now. I want to say thank you to everybody. I want to start with something, okay? My journey started with all winners. That's why I'm a winner today, okay? I had two good winners who were my mentors. I had my big brother, Uncle Bob Takusi, and Uncle Oliver Fonte. They were my mentors. That is where I started with all winners, unpassive winners. And that's why I'm a winner today in unpassive. There's also an African proverb that says, if a little boy, you growing up, you write or you, you wash your hands clean, you will sit with elders, you feast with them on the table and on the same bowl. And that is why I'm so proud today. I am here as a winner. Okay. Now, Uncle Bob told me this, uh, this topic today. I'm like, oh, wow, what can I get from it? I started scribble some words, okay? Some characteristics of winners. I started with self-confidence. I went to, uh, to boldness. I went to honesty. I went to assuring. I went to patient. I went to innovative. I went to resilient, okay? I went to promising. I went to consistent. I went to fighter. I went to feedback. I went to assign roles, organization, conflict resolution, achievable goals, commit to the team, define roles, trust, oh, dependability, accountability. I can continue listening, um, adaptability, problem solving, okay? Um, celebrate victories, open communication, leadership, okay? Communicate, collaborate, positive, okay? Diversity, flexibility, continuous learning, reward teamwork and behavioral awareness. So with all this, uh, those are um, 34 words, okay? I'm bounding them out down to drop down to three of them. The first one is leadership. The second one is province solving. And the third one is continuous learning. Last two, last month we were right here, our CEO came here and he told Uncle Bob that, hey, I don't want you, Bob, I don't want to tell you a secret. The secret is that when I am with those people, I'm dumbfounded. I don't know what to say because they know a lot. So he is learning, process, continuous learning. That's a leader. His leadership character, I'm bounding this all. All of us are leaders here. They are focusing on him. All those words, we can use them to define all of this, but for him, okay, he told us he's a leader. He's taking over on passive all again. Can you imagine what kind of a leader can say that to you? Trust. We trust him. He's very trustworthy. Now, the problem solving one, he told us there are challenges. And those challenges are being taken care of. Problem solving. So I'm bounding down problem solving, leadership, and continuous learning. That's all I got for the day. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mike. So you gave us about 30 adjectives and you boiled 34. it down to 34, 34 adjectives and you boiled it yes. down to three. We are winners. Mm -hmm. Thank you for always taking your time to, to research uh, and make sure you give us the rich stuff. Thank you so much. Now yeah. we're going to hear from um, the one consistent voice who has always told us we are winners in so many different ways and he puts it in these few words. We are fine. You know what it means to say, to tell people, to make people believe that they are fine? Even there are any odds, despite all odds, anything to the contrary. 
this jet, this fine gentleman was a brother of mine. He will tell you, you are fine. Those are some powerful, soothing words that has been branded and you are rightfully so. You are fine because you are a winner. You are fine because you are a winner. That's what Oliver Fonte has been telling us for more than three years now. Brother Oliver, please come on down. Tell us whether we are fine and whether we are winners. Thank you, Yeah, sir. hi. Yeah, hi. Thank you. Um, thank you, Brother Bob. And thank everybody that is here today. And for those who are who are listening, and uh, uh, I want to say thank you. And uh, I want to say again, we are not only fine. We are fine because we are focused. And when you are focused, and you have a great leader like Mr. Ash Mufar, he speaks the truth, his integrity, and he is there to change people's lives. Not only that, he put a business, a bis he put a business plan together. That business plan is a movement and is an ideology. That ideology and that movement that has brought every, every person, every person from different denominations, from different countries, from India, Africa, Asia, everywhere, to be 1.4 million plus together. And he wants to balance. He wants to balance the poverty level in every part of this blessed world. Who is that? Mr. Ash Mubarak. And he wants to make us the winners because we are focused and because we are fine. Please, not only, only that, the balanced equation of that the poverty level that he wants to make, he wants to bring now to the world, that poverty level will not be because the 1.4 million soldiers or foot soldiers with this is ideology. And you know you cannot kill an ideology. You cannot. And what is the value of that? The value of that is to impact people's life, is to eradicate poverty. Even if it's one or two percent, we are going to do it because we believe in him. And when you sacrifice, when you sacrifice and you believe you have faith, you will win. That is why we are winners. So guys, I know we are running out of time, but our value, the main value that Mr. Ashmofar has put to us, has instilled in us, that value will have endured and will you endured. Look, winners are people who endured, who sacrifice. It is not a walk in the path. You cannot climb the ladder with your hands in your pocket. Our CEO told us that some times ago, some, 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 some months back. So we are winning. We are winning and we are winners. He told us we are not going away and we should get ready to the next phase. And that next phase, only winners will get there. Be positive. Be positive. Surround yourself with positive people. Be focused and with your focus, you believe, you have faith, we are fine. Thank you for doing, Mr. Bob. Thank you very much. <laughs> we are fine indeed. Thank you, my brother Oliver. Firebrand, firebrand, fire, fire, fire in the house. Thank you so much, bro. We are fine. Those words, those words are the 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 they resonate around around on passive. Everyone knows those words because those are the words that have kept us going. But we also have the privilege of having one of our one of the great winners of all passive, someone who has that energy, that charisma, that ability to, to, to give us that hope and that spirit that we are looking for. He has an embodiment of Mr. Ash, before we can say that. He's the one and only Mr. Chris Johnson. He has joined us. He has blessed us this afternoon. And we're going to pass the floor over to him to also tell us how he sees us. Are we winners? Brother Chris, over to you, sir. Wow. Um... I mean, I don't want to follow any of you guys and gals. And I want to say, first of all, my sisters, you are looking beautiful. My brothers, you're handsome because everyone in passive is sexy. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, man, 
this is a tough one. I, I really came on here to say, and I'm emotional from what you're saying, because the fact that your faith is so strong in this company and the message that you're putting out to people, they need to understand that we have different colors, different faces. I mean, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for keeping the faith because a lot of people have lost their faith in a lot of things. Okay. Um, I don't lose my faith and the big guy upstairs. I'm not talking about the Garmo. I love him too. Um, but you guys are uh, sharing what should be shared and all the people that are watching it. If you're doing webinars, this is the positivity that we need. This is the positivity you need to put in your heart. And just keep believing. Yep, I've heard every one of you. You've heard Ash. He's going through some woo, uh, baseball bats to the head, we could say. Probably a lot more that we don't even know about. He doesn't waver. He doesn't shake. He stays professional. And that's why we have the faith in him. Um, just before I came on here, I was watching. John White sent me a message. Hey, you got two... Bad people on your YouTube channel. Not a problem. Delete, delete, delete. People are always going to come at us. Uh, and that doesn't mean we give up. It doesn't mean you get mad. I get mad sometimes when people say stuff, but I needed this right now. I needed to hear what you ladies and gents are saying. Uh, the world needs it because something unique is coming that's going to change everyone's lives. Engineer Mike, every time I see you, blow me away. Oliver Fontaine, you are fine. Okay. Um, all of you, ladies, you represent on passive like it should be. And we know we have a lot of people that don't do that so well. All right. But you know what? <laughs> As my brother Marty tells me all the time, let it go. Let it go. Move forward. Stay positive and keep doing this because. I tell people all the time, if I didn't believe in this company, even though I'm getting beat up by my family, lost some friends, they'll be back. They'll be back. I don't quit. Ash Mafara doesn't quit. Everyone, I, I know Jerry Otoyo. I know that guy now. He don't quit. And all you ladies, you keep doing what you're doing. That's what we are supposed to do when we believe in something, have faith in it that dearly. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about really every lousy thing in this world today. Um, I did say something last night on Oran's uh, webinar. I said, I'm, I'm tired of two sides. Um, Israel, Palestine, Ukraine, Russia, Republican, Democrat. I remember a time when people... I'm 58 years old. I remember a time where people supported people. We are so divided right now in this world because of all this other stuff. It's not right. We as founders, early birds, apple heads, I'll call you. You know what I'm talking about? We're the ones that's going to change the world by putting out positive messages. When the world finally sees who we are and what we're doing, uh, countries will come together. I've witnessed this for three and a half years of countries that weren't so together, that are now working together side by side. Welcome to Unpassive. Welcome to a vision that's so strong that it came into all of our heads. And what do we want to do? We want to talk about it. We want to share it. To the world who's ever listening, all these people on here, it's not about them. It's about them putting something in your mind, in your life, that's going to change things for the better. I don't care what your reasons are, health, mental health, poverty, we're going to help. And that's why these phenomenal ladies and gentlemen get on here and they do what they do. Not just on Sunday. They do it all week long. If you don't see them on a camera, they're doing something. Trust me. So remember that there's a lot of people in this company that has a lot of faith. And there's a lot of people that are against us. There's a lot of people that say not so nice things. Um, I forgive you because I still want you to join this amazing company that's going to help change the world. If I could do anything in my life before I die, I just want to eliminate hate. 
Eliminate the hate. Countries will come together. Stand in the middle. Stand in the middle. Every one of us have families. Our lives are important. We can't keep going on in this world where people are against people. All that's doing is it's tearing us apart. And innocent people are dying. So as a founder of Unpassive, I love this company because I could see the vision, what Ash saw many years ago. I can see what's coming forward. And no one could see the future, but I know in my heart Everyone in this company is going to make a change for the better. And I believe everyone can see this is uh, going to be an amazing thing. And when it comes, sit down and relax. All right. A lot of people for the last four, five, six years have been talking about Unpassive. Um, we don't call it work. We call it sharing happiness. So stay positive what you're doing. I thank you again from the bottom of my heart for believing in Ash Mafara, for believing in this company and whoever else out there is on the fence. Hey man, get off the fence. It hurts. Come on over to the light side. I'll say because eventually after a pass, it really blows up. I promise you, you will see many countries start coming together because we have every single country in this company working together side by side. And don't ever forget that. I love every one of you, Uncle Bob and all of you, great speakers. Keep doing what you're doing. And Marcian, you keep dancing. Uncle Bob, back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Chris. That was very, 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 very needed. Thank you for just coming and reassuring us. Your energy, your, your, your spirit and everything is just good for all of us in our passive. Thank you so much, sir. We are winding down now, so I'm just going to, in the interest of time, I'm going to let our two uh, uh, guests that we spotlighted, Sister Fumi and Pastor Jerry, to just take one minute and just uh, give us some closing remark, one sentence or phrase, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, let's go with Pastor Jerry. Pastor Jerry, please. Thank you, Brother Bob. Um, I'm so happy to be here. I want to say that on passive, is actually here to give hope to humanity. Hope is the greatest thing. And who is a winner? Because we are talking about a winner here. Who is a winner? A winner is somebody who is able to duplicate himself in others. Someone who can inspire others because the activity of a winner is to inspire people to be able to get into that same fit and to do better. And so, we can see this in our CEO, Hash Mufara, that he is a winner. And today we have one Hash Mufara, but tomorrow we'll have millions of Hash Mufaras because he's inspiring us with his life. He's creating his life into us. The passion in him is what we carry. Somebody like me, I, I, when I listen to him, as a matter of fact, the whole week, I will make a note about what he says. And that is creating yourself in other people. And that is what I tell people whenever we meet. And um, sometimes we hold seminar and presentation with people in order to inspire them, or uh, to encourage them to stay in unpassive. And we do that. Myself, Gilbert Bauer, who is our leader here in Ghana, and we do we do all that to inspire people. I believe that um, Hash Mufara as a winner is creating himself so much in all right. us. God bless you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. The key word there is replication. Mr. Ash has successfully replicated himself to all of us. That's what Pastor Jerry is telling us. Sister Fumi, please, a word, a sentence, or a phrase. Let us wrap it up. He who walks with the wise becomes wiser. Yes. Amen. If you walk with the foolish, then you behave like the foolish. So I would say being a winner means working with someone that is wise. And our CEO is a wise man. Not because of anything in himself, but what God has put on the inside of him. So you walk with a wise person. I'm telling you, you will be definitely a winner. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my sister. And with that, I'll just end with this. This is what Mr. Ash told us at Unpassive 360 uh, on, Wednesday, on Wednesday. 
to really, really affirm that we are winners. Mr. Ash said he has no regrets for having us as founders. You guys remember? He said he has no regrets that it has actually given us more value, you know, that we have gained more strength together. So if he had to do it again, he will do it again and he will bring all of us along with him. So we are all winners, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, we'll see you in two weeks. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for the time that you spent with us. Bye-bye.